Welcome to testpassport.com. In this video, I will share real CISSP questions and answers with you. 1. Which of the following is a remote access protocol that uses a static authentication? A. Point-to-point -point tunneling protocol PPTP. B. Routing information protocol RIP. C. Password Authentication Protocol PAP. D. Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol CHAP. Answer, C. 2. Which of the following sets of controls should allow an investigation if an attack is not blocked by preventive controls or detected by monitoring? A. Logging and audit trail controls to enable forensic analysis. B. Security incident response lessons learned procedures. C. Security event alert triage done by analysts using a security information and event management system. D. Transactional controls focused on fraud prevention. Answer, C. 3. Determining outage costs caused by a disaster can best be measured by the a. Cost of redundant systems and backups. b. Cost to recover from an outage. c. Overall long-term impact of the outage. d. Revenue lost during the outage. Answer, c. 4. A company has decided that they need to begin maintaining assets deployed in the enterprise. What approach should be followed to determine and maintain ownership information to bring the company into compliance? A. Enterprise Asset Management Framework B. Asset Baseline Using Commercial Off-the-Shelf Software C. Asset Ownership Database Using Domain Login Records D. A script to report active user logins on assets Answer, A. 5. In the Software Development Life Cycle SDLC, maintaining accurate hardware and software inventories is a critical part of A. Systems Integration B. Risk Management C. Quality Assurance D. Change Management Answer, D. 6. As a best practice, the Security Assessment Report SAR should include which of the following sections? A. Data Classification Policy B. Software and Hardware Inventory C. Remediation Recommendations D. Names of Participants Answer, B. 7. The application of a security patch to a product previously validate at common criteria CC evaluation assurance level 4 would a. Require an update of the protection profile PP. b. Require recertification c. Retain its current EEL rating d. Reduce the product to EEL 3 Answer, B. 8. Which of the following media sanitization techniques is most likely to be effective for an organization using public cloud services? A. Low-level formatting B. Secure-grade overwrite erasure C. Cryptographic erasure D. Drive degaussing Answer, B. 9. What type of wireless network attack best describes an electromagnetic pulse EMP attack? A. Radio frequency RF attack B. Denial of service DOS attack C. Data modification attack D. Application layer attack Answer, B. 10. Which of the following adds end-to-end -end security inside a Layer 2 tunneling protocol L2TP Internet Protocol Security IPSEC connection? A. Temporal Key Integrity Protocol TKEP. 
b. Secure hash algorithm SHA. c. Secure shell SSH. d. Transport layer security TLS. Answer, b.